Hello everybody and welcome back to another Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about magma forges, and also magma smelting. This is a very simple tutorial of a very basic concept, but presented in a very complicated manner. We've actually built a little magma reservoir down here on the magma sea, using a magma safe floodgate and a lever. You do not need to do this. If you want to use lava, the best way I, in my experience to experiment with it is just simply messing around on the surface uh, near a volcano optimally. Or if you happen to find a magma shoot which is usually found in the cavern layers. It's just kind of like a, an open lava pond, basically, which you can build on top of easily. F I recommend for new players, if you're messing around with lava, to do this on a volcano. But for the sake of this video, I thought we'd be a little bit fancy. So we're going to be using this fancy little reservoir that I've constructed right here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be building a magma forge using this anvil right here, this steel anvil, and we're going to be building a magma... Uh, smelter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the workshops section of the construction screen. We're going to click on the building section. We're going to then go to workshops. Like I said, we're going to click on magma forge. Now a magma forge is the item that is used uh, for, you know, making your weapons, making your, your shields, your crafts, your furniture. It's like you're, you're, you're the thing that does everything with lava. Now the benefit of using lava instead of using fuel is lava doesn't require fuel because that is your fuel, right? So normal forges and normal smiths uh, are going to require coal or coke, as it's called in the game, or charcoal. Coal needs to be mined and then refined into coal, into coal, and charcoal needs to be chopped down from trees and then refined into charcoal, uh, which adds an extra step of complexity and adds another resource that you need to gather. So in some ways, magma forges are actually way simpler. So the kind of pro tip here is you can either place them all along the side like this, you can place them on the diagonal like this, as long as the center tile is supported by either flooring or stone. So they only need one tile to work, but if you see right up there, it says blocked at this location, it won't work. So uh, this, we could place it here, but it won't have any fuel, so there's no point. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of place it on the corner uh, right about here with these three sticking over the edge. We're going to use this steel anvil, and in order to construct a uh, workshop of this sort, you do need to have magma safe stone. So make sure that you have Gabbro or something else. Now, if you don't know uh, how to check for magma safe stone, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the uh, work orders screen. You're going to go over to stone use from labor. So work orders, stone use uh, under labor. And then if you scroll down here, anything with a little X on it is not magma safe. Anything with a little check mark is magma safe. So this will give you a pretty quick idea of what you have and what is and what isn't safe to use with lava. Of course, they just simply won't let you build them if they're not available, so you don't really have anything to worry about. The other workshop that we are going to construct today is, a, as I said earlier, the magma smelter. Now, the magma smelter can be found right here, and we are going to place this right next to it. So now we're just going to wait until these are both constructed, and once they're ready to go and the dwarves have built our two lovely forges, we'll continue with the video. So now that our forge, as well as our smith, are both ready to go, the smelter and the forge, we are going to begin work. So the way this is going to work is exactly like any other forge. We can either queue up tasks in the manager screen, and a baby was just born, or we can queue them up manually by simply going down here. Uh, so we have access to Galena on this embark, as well as Tetrahedrite, so I'm simply going to smelt some Galena. Once this task has been completed, I'll continue speaking. Now that we've smelted that Galena, you can see that we have acquired two silver bars as well as some lead, which is what Galena is the ore of. From there, we're then going to click on this Magma Forge, and we're going to go to Weapons and Ammunition. I'm going to go down to Silver, and I'm going to ask them to forge a Silver Mace. Because, I don't know, I like maces sometimes, and I don't think I've seen the sprite in this version yet for them. Generally, I would make uh, war hammers out of silver, but every now and again, you gotta make a mace. So, when it comes out, it should be right here. Our dwarves have chucked everything together and seem quite happy about their new forges. And uh, if you have any questions about forging with magma, do let me know. Uh, we'll do another video on s and sand and glass pretty soon. So if you would like to find more videos related to Dwarf Fortress, you can check out a ton of those over on this YouTube channel. And if you want to see more videos about specifically uh, forging, well, I'm building this whole fortress out. So uh, the VOD should be coming out from the stream shortly, and it will be the fourth that I will be streaming for the next couple of days, uh, unless a patch pops up out of nowhere, at which point then I'll probably generate a new world. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.